It's been one day since a deadly house fire in West Michigan took the life of a four-year-old boy and put four others in the hospital. Now tonight, the fire department is asking for the community's help when it comes to supporting the families that have been impacted. News 8's Taylor Morris is live in the newsroom with more. Yeah, Amanda, the fire took place near Lowell. It happened shortly after midnight. With the death of the four-year-old and his father still fighting for his life in the hospital, the fire department says they wanted to do more to help. We saw an opportunity to help them out beyond what uh, we did yesterday at the fire. For the past three years, the Lowell Area Fire Department has hosted their fire prevention open house, which also includes a trunk or treat event for families. Well, tomorrow, that same event is taking place, but this year it looks a little different. And we saw an opportunity to help them out beyond what uh, we did yesterday at the fire. So tomorrow from 5 to 8 during our open house, uh, we'll be collecting donations uh, for the family. Monetary donations and items they might need, such as phone chargers and clothing. After the fire event yesterday, we've had a huge outpouring of support from our community, uh, asking if there's anything that members of the community can do. Uh, the fire was a total loss of all their, their belongings. On Thursday, fire crews from Lowell and Ada were sent to the area of 700 block Flat River Drive near the Lowell City Airport. According to the Kent County Sheriff's Office, when they arrived on scene, firefighters found the house on fire and a 27-year-old man in critical condition. The first firefighter who arrived went straight inside the house to look for the child, but became disoriented because the fire was so heavy. According to officials, as more crew showed up, they found the four-year-old boy dead. All of our members um, are from this community. Uh, we all live in this community. Uh, most of us are parents, so we we take in we take any loss in our community hard. But obviously, when kids are involved, it's it's even harder. And as far as how the family is doing tonight. Uh, one of our members has been in communication with them. We're, we're utilizing him as our liaison point between the two. So, um, you know, they're, they're doing the best that they can with the situation that they're, they're dealing with. Um, you know, the loss of the, the child as well as a family member still in the hospital and at last check in critical condition. The fire chief tells me there will be a list on their Facebook page, Lowell Area Fire Department, later tonight with items the family needs. He also says Michigan State Police and the Ken County Sheriff's Office is still investigating what started the fire. Amanda.